Good morning guys, welcome to Friday 22nd of December, which is the day that the majority of people go home for Christmas, including this guy. <laughs> this guy and me. You can see how many people are down there now. Yeah, I mean it's not as, nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be though, um, but we will see. We've got a horrible feeling we're probably going to end up sat in the galleyway of the train on the floor. As long as we're on this train, I'm really not bothered. Care, yeah. I just want to be on the train. We're just sat here for the restaurant. We've got all of the suitcases. My brand new suitcases. Look how pretty they are. This massive beast. And Alex has one. So we're all kitted out. Hi guys. Uh, it's Boxing Day. Welcome back. I, uh, I kind of accidentally took a few days off. I didn't actually plan to, I wasn't going to, I was really enjoying doing vlogmas and I was vlogging every day. You know, I just needed a few days off just to chill and see family and friends and just have a bit of um, alone time, I guess, <laughs> and just catch up with people without a camera. So that's what I did. So today is Boxing Day. I have spent the morning doing some sale shopping, first off. I love the Boxing Day sales. I mean, Black Friday sales are fun, but I feel like Boxing Day sales are always like the best, the absolute best. The most amount of brands go into sale at Boxing Day and the discounts are better. So I usually treat myself every year on Boxing Day to a few lovely pieces that I can wear throughout the rest of the next year. So I've just got a few bits, in fact I'll show you a few bits that I've just got. What well, I've bought in the Boxing Day sale, so head along to this post if you like and you want a bit of inspo. I'm sure all these things will still be on sale by the time you see this. So this is why I've just kind of, a few pieces I've just got look at this bag it's so beautiful it's sort of like spring it's gorgeous colors these are very me and i don't own any, any calf calf height boots these i've had my eye on now for about four or five months and they've just gone into sales so that's awesome i always love looking at an argent provocateurs sale oh gosh my nail is just broken i can't show that those have some good discounts i've always wanted a max mara coat and they've got a few on sale and this blazer was just like amazing so i've kind of split up this blog post as to what i've just treated myself to what i'm still thinking about maybe looking at these are things I already own that have just gone into sale, including this coat that I know a lot of you guys like. They've obviously put a few back on there. And these are extra things that I think are absolutely awesome. So go along to that if you need some inspo. Then I'm just about to get ready. Yes, yeah, so I'll show you what I got for Christmas in a second. Rather than do it in a full video, I thought it'd be nice to just do it in a vlog. A little more informally, I guess. Um, but I just thought, first of all, I'd put... Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! That is why Victoria's camera That's why off, the really. camera is breaking. Don't lean your camera on a box on the top of the bed. Um, yeah, the one thing I did want to try though today, not Spawn, by the way. I mean, you know I love Armani anyway. I work with Armani a lot, but they've just released this. It's a new Armani to go essence and foundation cushion. So it's their like first cushion foundation. I am so excited. So um, I wanted to try that today. And I thought we could kind of try it together on camera. So I know that the background isn't overly fabulous right now with all of my mum's wardrobe open but hey ho whilst i'm doing this i'll also let you know what i've been up to um because i didn't really vlog it so last thing the last thing that you will have seen will be us in edinburgh so i will insert some of edinburgh right now we're almost in edinburgh almost there very excited alex has never even been to scotland before so this is brand new for alex we're here for a little bit of festivities, a little bit of work. A little yeah. bit of food. And a lot of food. Yeah, we're going out for some dinner in Edinburgh. I really just want to get a picture in my new red suit. And this is a brand new one to my collection and it's so affordable, by the way. They're after a suit, especially a red one, I love this. Um, so it's from Reserved. I'll leave the links down below for you. My red Strathbury bag to kind of match and then my shoes, I've gone for these Dolce's. Do you know what? We thought it would be a lot colder than it is. I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I think it's a little bit colder than London. Taking some pictures in my lovely red seat. Bumped into one of your fans yeah, as well? Yeah, we bumped into a lovely, lovely girl. Um, she was lovely. Said hello, so that was nice. Oh, my eyes watering from the cold. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's delicious, I've got the card, I've got muscles on here. 
Wonderful. That was an awesome trip. But the days after that were just us coming home here. I spent time with mum. Me and mum went shopping. We did coffee dates. We did lots of catching up. We did baking. We did um, Alex's a family meal for Alex. Um, we saw the family, different families. We went for a family meal with my family. I've got a cold. So it's been a lot of um been a lot of family time. I'm gonna get into this foundation and really try it out. I love the look of this. This is a cute as little sponge, it's like pointed here so you can get into there. I kind of wanna try it with the sponge to see how we get on here. This is in shade twenty. No, is it no shade two? Shade two. Um when I'm not tanned, I'm usually shade two and I'm on it. When I am tanned, I'm usually a four. So I often quite like to mix the two. I'm not gonna get the best results with that right now. I'm just gonna go into my usual beauty blender. I'm really impressed with that actually. Coverage on that is gorgeous. Yeah, it's still quite dewy. That's really lovely actually, I like that a lot. Okay, I'm all ready, so. We're gonna go out and take some pictures and then when I'm back, I'll show you the, the presents. <laughs> A nice sunset picture. How cute is this? Mm, I love it. In terms of light, this is definitely better, but sorry about the backdrop. Now, does that go through some of my Christmas presents? I usually like to film this in a much more kind of like formal setting, but I just didn't really fancy it this year because I've done it for the last few years and I know that a lot of people don't like these videos, etc. So I thought I'd just sort of show you in a much more like informal setting some of my amazing presents that I'm very 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 grateful for obviously. I'll start off with presents that my dad got me so um, my mum and dad are separated if I haven't mentioned that before. I always stay at my mum's and then we go over to my dad's in the morning on Christmas day so they had got me a few lovely so lovely presents. A few of these Oliver bonus boxes. This first one they got me a set of this <laughs> so cool these copper um, serving fork and spoon just for if we have any friends around or even if me and Alex are like doing any cooking and we want to like serve things they're just absolutely beautiful for my dad and also my nana they also got me this set of the spoons it's four different metal spoons it's like copper silver gold and rose gold so so nice just little special spoons my dad and um my stepmom also got me this chocolate shoe which is very appropriate i must say but god knows how i'm gonna get through this much chocolate but very cute and he also got me so many other random my dad likes to buy me random stuff because he likes to have a laugh um they got me some marigolds some very cute little marigolds nonetheless which alex will love to wear when he's cleaning the house <laughs> no super cute and they also got me this veggie veggie scrubber i used to have one of these ages ago but this one's like a little carrot with a little top and you can like scrub all your veg with it and then they also got me this this is from all the bonus and it's like a little jewelry box the idea being that if you travel a lot like, um, like we do you can take your any jewelry you want inside this box it's all together i know where it is and it's not just like floating around your bags um it's just a really cute little hard leather case love that a lot also got me this which is so cool um friends and things a coffee table photo album it's kind of thing you can kind of leave out i mean it's huge i don't expect it to be this big but when you open it up i mean it's still got the stuff inside but it just has pages that you meant to just stick all your photos onto um obviously in the idea being that you build up a photo album we have so many photos like polaroids especially just floating around the house that get lost and get like mugged up whereas now 
what I think I'm gonna do is either buy some Pritt stick or some nice tape and then we'll just start like taping them in and then we've literally got a full book, like photo album sticker book of friend stuff. Um, so I love this, it's super cute, it's a like, cottony finish. Then, off of my mum. My mum got me this gorgeous candle. It smells divine. This is the coconut leaf scented candle. It's from White Stuff. It's a really pretty candle, but the smell is absolutely beautiful. Um, she also got me this book, this cookbook. It's called A Modern Way to Cook by Anna Jones. Over 150 quick smart flavour packed recipes for every day, and I'm pretty sure it's a vegetarian book which is pretty great, yeah it is, vegetarian cookbook, it's not vegan, it's vegetarian and I've already looked through and um, there are some absolutely beautiful looking oh my god look, sweet potato lime and peanut soup, I'm absolutely making that so that was off mum she also got me a pair of all Akili oven gloves because I really needed a new pair of oven gloves and when she asked me what do you want I said there's literally nothing that I want or need um, apart from a pair of oven gloves because our other ones are just disgusting now so yeah, so we've got these all the Keely ones off of my stepdad he got me this cute little journal it's like a journal kind of diary book it says where to next on it and it has this really sweet little pen I think it's from Paper Journal, no, where is it from? Sheffield Home Paper Goods that'll come in handy for writing down anything at my desk my brother very kindly got me a Selfridges voucher his friend in my favourite store. So thanks bro. My sister-in-law, if I did get married to Alec, she got me this awesome basket of healthier treats. Not that they're really that healthy, but more like vegan style organic treats. Loads of like raw chocolate, loads of my favourite on bar in here, on bar chocolate, organic chocolate, blueberry cookies. I will eat every single one of those. I've already eaten about four packets out of there. So that's gone down well. Alex's dad is hilarious. He bought me this pack of pliers. I think he's trying to make us into like real home bodies that know how to do everything. And this was like his bit of a jokey present to me, but you know, no, these will always come in. In fact, I needed a pair of pliers last week and I didn't have any. So thank you very much, Stuart. But he also bought, they're just in the other room, they're just a bit packaged up, but he also bought me and Alex a set of tumblers, beautiful glass tumblers, and also some uh, like metallic cool uh, wine glasses as well. So I'm kind of like building up a collection of like really cool like homeware um, glassware, which is awesome. So they were beautiful. Off of Alex's family, I also got some cool little like wine bits, like wine and chocolate. And again, wine and chocolates in here, so that is amazing. There's also one thing I did get as a Christmas present from a brand, actually. There's one thing that arrived here to my mum's place, and that was a pair of Sorel Chloe boots. So Chloe and Sorel did this, like, collaboration boot, um, and they so, so kindly sent me a pair, like, insane. Honestly, I check these out. Absolutely gorgeous, they're absolutely amazing, so adorable. So thank you very much to Sorel and Chloe for this amazing present. Like, and yeah, my mum also got me from Sorrento. She went to Sorrento in Italy recently, and she got me this really cute little merino glass cork. So unique and different, and yeah, I don't know anyone else that has like this. So it's very, very cute, very Italian. So I'm going to put that on the wall in the office. In fact, although I think it would look really nice in the kitchen or even the bathroom, something like this. But just a really unique present. And the last thing that my mum got me was this. Victoria's memory box. So it's like a wooden box that she's had completely customised. So on here it's got ballet shoes, it's got um, a camera for obviously the fact that I got into photography and everything that I do and also the heels because it's kind of like so it's like from being younger growing up and now into like my girl boss mode that I am I mean to be honest when I opened this Christmas day I actually got really really upset and really emotional if you guys have been following the vlogs kind of around since the start of when I started doing them like weeks ago probably like half a year ago now my granddad passed away in June so it's the first Christmas we've had without my granddad um, so inside this box there are lots of really beautiful pictures of me and my granddad me and my my other granddad who passed 10 years ago my nana uh, pictures of me when I was younger um, even things like my first watch is in here my very first watch and I love this and this is my watch that I had and my mum's kept it like in here are like some teeth that I had taken out during surgery that had grown in the roof of my mouth they were literally growing in the roof of my mouth so she's got them there 
She's got some cards in here, like there's a card here, like from my granddad and things like that that he'd written to me. Really beautiful card and I don't even know when this must have been from, it's from my nana and granddad so this must be uh, 15, 16 years old this card. Um, for when she passed so just absolutely amazing oh it's making me emotional actually look inside don't look inside right now <laughs> yeah really really beautiful very sentimental very heartfelt present from my mum which i didn't expect and i will keep this now for the rest of my life um and just keep building up the memories i kind of feel really emotional though <laughs> Yeah, I'll keep building up the memories and obviously my and Alex's memories can go in here and then my children and you know, it's just such a lovely idea to get this, so. The only thing I haven't shown you there is what Alex got me. I feel like I completely oversold this on Twitter. Um, Cause I was just, I was really, really excited about this gift. It's, it's something I've really always wanted, but never bought myself and never really thought too much about apart from, oh, that would be cool to have. I put this on Twitter to say like, oh, Alex done so well. He's got me such an incredible present. I can't wait. And so many people thought that maybe he got me a ring or something like that. And it's like, no, not yet. It's not a ring, guys, I'm sorry. So, Alex got me these. So these are a pair of beats headphones wireless and they're the studio version ones so they fit over the ears which is amazing for me with the amount of travel we do how i don't have a pair of these already i don't actually know so they come in this cute little pouch that you carry them in to protect them mm -hmm. and they come in about six different colors um and the other colors i must admit they're a bit you know sick like simple was like a black green red but then I found these on the Apple website in this colour. I hope you can see in this light, but it's like a beige, pale, dusky, beige, pink. The main thing that I love about them is that they're a bit larger here around the ear, so it fits around the ear and completely noise cancels. So when you've got, so when you've got your music on, this sounds funny now, when you've got, your, am I shouting? And maybe I'm shouting. When, you, when you've got your music on, you can't hear anything else gets completely around your ears they're so great they're so great so these will completely block out all of the noise apart from what i'm listening to so i'm very very excited about it and they're completely wireless it does also come with like a little um a jack as well so you can start you can plug it in yeah but alex got me these so these are like my main present from alex and they just fold like this super cute and you can just pop them back in. Also, my aunt's also did a cute little like stocking filler moment. Before we came back, we thought, let's open our stocking fillers so we don't have to bring them home because we already brought home four suitcases, if you saw that Instagram picture. And Alex got me some lovely things. He got me some gin. He got, yeah, he got me a bathtub gin. He got me a huge bottle of vanilla syrup because I love my vanilla syrup in my coffees. So it's like a big moaning, is it moaning, moaning? Um, vanilla syrup, he got me that. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to think what else he got me here. I got him a Nintendo Switch with Zelda and Matt Super Mario. And he's already bought Super Mario Racing. And we played it earlier, it's so much fun. Um, so I got him that. I got him a Dior Sauvage perfume. Um, oh, perfume? You know, aftershave. He's, oh, it just smells amazing. So I got him one of those. Oh, I got him a book. I got him a Neil deGrasse Tyson book. Because he loves reading about space and astrology and likes Neil deGrasse Tyson. And yeah. So we just had like little little stocking fillers, which was cute. That is everything that I got for Christmas, which I feel extremely lucky for. I feel like I got loads last year, but I actually think this is more than that, which is crazy when I told my family and friends, don't really get me anything. Honestly, I prefer giving than receiving. I mean, obviously it's amazing both ways, but I just love, love to give presents family time the past few days had so many family meals it's been family meal after family meal for lunch dinner lunch dinner and then last night we had everyone over to our house and my mum cooked Christmas dinner and it was just wonderful and it was so nice just having downtime just nice having time off no cameras I mean I Instagrammed each day but that was it and it was pre-done pictures so I actually haven't worked for a few days and it's felt really really nice so today I was like I really want to vlog today I'm excited uh, so yeah, so I feel like I got my mojo back again, which is great. I got a bit of a cold again, so my voice is feeling a bit funny. But otherwise, I'm all good, very happy, very excited for 2018, getting back into it. Yeah, and I guess I'll come back with more videos as soon as possible. We're going home tomorrow, so things should be back to normal. So I hope you all had incredible Christmases, guys. Yeah, just having time with friends and all the food and just really enjoyed yourself. I hope you've all really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. Please just subscribe if you are brand new to click my face to subscribe. I'd love to have you back for an amazing year next year. There's lots happening next year and I cannot wait to share it all with you. 
and thank you for the most insane year yet. Love you all. Mwah.